Five starts now. Welcome to News Watch 12 at 5. I'm Justin Betty. Governor Tony Evers was in Wausau today on what he's calling his Fair Maps Tour. It comes as the battle over the redrawing of Wisconsin's political lines intensifies. News Watch 12's Kyle Pazorski was there today. He joins us now live in studio with details. Kyle. Justin, Evers, a Democrat, held a news conference to tout the final report and maps put together by the People's Maps Commission. You know, the group he put together in hopes of creating unbiased maps, as opposed to those drawn by Republican lawmakers, which he says are unfair. Fair maps does not mean changing and swapping out Republican gerrymandered maps for Democratic gerrymandered maps. You will see as you d dive into this, these are not Democratic uh, them gerrymandered maps. Democrat Mayor of Wausau Katie Rosenberg agrees, saying the governor's proposed maps will lead to more competitive districts. So competition is how good ideas become policy. When we don't have competition, extremism and gridlock rule the day. Rosenberg referenced Robert La Follette, the former Wisconsin governor and senator from the early 20th century, a Republican back when they were considered progressive who would be in the street yelling with his fist in the air right now, warning us to look at, to the legitimacy of this process and not short-term political gains. He said, let no man think we can deny civil liberty to others and retain it for ourselves. After the governor read his prepared remarks, he answered questions, including what the new districts would mean for incumbent lawmakers who would be pushed out of their current districts. These people never looked at where someone lived because that wasn't important. It was important to look at the polling da or the, the data from previous elections and make it as fair as possible so that there are competitive races. Governor Evers continued saying the ball is now in Republicans' court, though the answer is likely to come in literal courts. Yes, uh, as I said, if, if, they, if, if they pass the maps that they have, which are gerrymandered 2.0 maps, I'll veto that. And then the, the only option is uh, uh, courts. If Governor Evers and Republican leaders can't come to a compromise, Republicans are fighting to have the major decision cited in the state court, while Democrats want it answered in federal court. Justin? All right, thank you, Kyle. Outside, Jeff, gearing up for a cold night ahead. Yeah, the clouds held temperatures back today, but the clouds are about to scoot out of here, and that's going to give us some clear skies and very cold temperatures tonight, most likely low temperatures in the upper teens. So the back edge of the clouds is right here across parts of western Wisconsin. It's clear in Duluth right now. That is moving in our direction. We earned it. We deserve it, as we have sunshine back in the forecast throughout the day tomorrow. All right, here's a bigger picture, though. We're looking at a pretty a nice quiet pattern setting up here uh, into tomorrow and for the weekend with a bigger story though is going to be the building temperatures coming our way. Uh, yeah, look to the west right now, already building heat across the Dakotas uh, into Kansas as well. We could go for mid even upper 50s in the forecast this weekend. As you know, that is not normal. Our forecast then for tonight though is decreasing clouds and cold with low temperatures down near 17. Your full forecast is coming up, Justin. All right, thank you, Jeff. Nick Lake College in Rhinelander hosted a job fair today featuring 35 different employers. It's about twice their usual turnout. Organizers say there was also a big push to get more Nicolay College students to the event. We've definitely put a push to our students to really be here. Um, the reality is that Nicolay, a lot of our students are employed, but they're underemployed. So we're really trying to push networking, the benefits of coming to a job fair, connecting with employers. Delaney Chalimi will complete her time in the EMT paramedic program at Nicolay in December. Plans to go straight into the workforce after that. She says this job fair is a good opportunity. It's um, sort of a resume builder, like building my knowledge and, you know, the experiences and just getting to talk to people. Improves the communication skills as well. Almost all the employers at the job fair today are local companies based out of the North Woods. A group called Grow North will host six lunch and learn webinars designed to help build a stronger workforce in the North Woods. Topics range from overlooked and underemployed populations to how businesses can utilize the positive aspects of the North Woods to help attract more in-demand workers to the region. Tickets are available online. They're 15 bucks for a single session, 75 for all six. Events start next Monday. 
Monday. They run each Monday, Wednesday, and Friday through the 19th. In Washington, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is making a major change to President Biden's massive spending bill, announcing she's adding four weeks of paid family and medical leave to that measure. This comes after the bill has been trimmed down in recent weeks amid concerns from a couple more moderate or centrist Democrats. Democratic Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia has spoken out against including mandatory paid family leave over cost concerns. The Department of Children and Families has launched a redesigned child care counts program. That new program will provide monthly payments designed to help child care providers stay open and provide more services to more families. $351 million nationwide in funding will be available to target two major areas, increasing access to quality care and recruiting and retaining high quality staff. That program opens up next week. It is set to run through 2023. Regulated providers can apply through the department's website. The seven-day average, the number of new COVID-19 cases here in Wisconsin remains steady over the last couple weeks. Today, the State Department of Health Services reports about 1,300 new cases, dropping our daily average for the last week to just under 1,900. Meanwhile, DHS reports just one new COVID-related death today. That drops our daily average the last week to about seven. That's the lowest it's been in almost two months. Children's Wisconsin gives weekly updates on how Trends at their facilities match up with national trends. Health experts there say Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine being approved for kids age 5 to 12 this week is good news, especially with some of the data they've seen recently. Well, over the last week, the percent of rooms occupied at the Milwaukee campus has declined slightly, although the percent of rooms occupied in our pediatric intensive care unit has increased slightly. What this means is that we're seeing some sicker kids. Since September, at least 68% of the rooms at Children's Wisconsin have been occupied for a variety of reasons, not just COVID. The ICU is usually about 80% full. Doctors say the severity of both COVID and RSV cases, which are going around, continues to increase, putting even more priority on getting kids vaccinated and pushing the country closer to herd immunity. Today, 5 to 11 year old kids across the country are now starting to receive COVID-19 vaccines after the CDC signed off on that yesterday. These kid sized doses are a relief to many parents, while others are more skeptical or outright opposed. And that has many medical experts and the Biden administration on a mission to put their minds at ease. Alice Barr has the latest from Washington. Today, smaller shots in little arms as children age 5 to 11 begin receiving the Pfizer COVID vaccine. I'm halfway there to doing no masks and stuff that I couldn't do before. It's a huge relief. Um, you know, the grown-ups are vaccinated, but when you have an unvaccinated child at home, you're still thinking about what can I bring home? The head of the CDC authorized the shots for young kids overnight after a panel of experts unanimously recommended the move. In clinical trials, vaccination was found to be nearly 91% effective in preventing COVID-19 among children ages 5 to 11. In clinical trials, vaccine side effects were mild. 15 million doses are already arriving at hospitals, pharmacies, and doctor's offices across the country. Oh, wow. The two-shot vaccine is one-third the size of an adult dose and comes in a smaller needle. I really wanted it to get vaccinated so I wouldn't get COVID. More than 28 million kids are now eligible, but polls show many parents are on the fence. Doctors urging them to talk to their pediatrician, with children now making up a quarter of new COVID cases. Roughly 700 have died since the pandemic began. You have to look at the risks of COVID, which are substantial for kids versus the risk of the vaccine, which seems to be really limited, mostly to sore arms. For children long tired of interruptions to school and sports, a shot at a return to normal. That's Alice Barr reporting. Many Packers fans are proud to call themselves not just fans, but owners of the team. And that sense of community really defines the team in many ways. We'll show you how here in Rhinelander, they're helping one local community organization expand their reach. But first, Jeff's in with your full forecast, including that warm-up headed our way. That's next on Newswatch 12 at 5.
Come to Carpet City Flooring Center's biggest sale and get the best for free. Through Saturday, get free installation on our best-selling carpet, free estimates, and interest-free financing. That's right. Free carpet installation, free estimates, and interest-free financing. Only at Carpet City Flooring Center. Come see why contractors and designers choose Carpet City Flooring Center for their flooring needs. And get the best for free with free carpet installation through Saturday. Carpet City. I have worked at HuffCore for the last 36 years. HuffCore, closing the plant, moving production to Mexico. I gave my life and my body to that place. Ron Johnson pushed through a tax law that rewards outsourcing. Companies can bring profits back from Mexico tax-free. And worse, Ron Johnson profited personally from outsourcing. He has doubled his wealth since taking office. Tell Ron Johnson to stop putting his profits above our jobs. to get holiday ready with Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks, or with Ford Explorer, America's all-time best-selling SUV, and come home in a Ford Bronco Sport. That's how you get holiday ready. Get a Ford F-150 with zero for 60 and 500 retail bonus cash, plus complimentary maintenance when you sign up for Ford Pass Rewards. See your Ford dealer today. Ah, the joys of online ordering. You never have to leave the comforts of your home. Right? And our go-to is Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Really? You betcha. Got this bag. Delivered yesterday. Oh, and they're sporting goods. Awesome. They've got all that. When I need workwear, I know where I'm headed. They've got kitchen gadgets, Hunting gear, canning cookwear, supplies, tools, decor, pet toys, lanterns. Wow, I can't believe they have all that. Snacks. It's all here at farmandfleet.com. Just a convenient click away. Toys. Find quality products. All online. At farmandfleet.com. Well said. Check out these impressive two-day snow totals from across the area. Lando Lakes, 9.9 inches. Presque Isle, 8.9. Lafayette Desire, 6.0. So overall, all lake effect snow showers right along the UP border. We're talking Lando Lakes to Conover uh, to Watersmeet. Uh, saw lots of snow the last uh, 48 hours around here. Out there now, though, the snow flurries are coming to an end. The back edge of the clouds is actually right there. You see it? That is moving our direction. It's clear in Duluth right now, but... We We'll get out of the clouds tonight. That's going to mean a couple things, though. That's going to mean cold temperatures this evening, especially in areas that have snow on the ground uh, north of the area right now. So overall, it's going to be a cold night with low temperatures basically in the teens. But here's the big picture. So it's all of these highs, one, two, three of them, as they slide to the east, right, uh, the air around them goes like this. We'll get on the back side of them, and that is a warming wind for us. We're going to kick in some much warmer temperatures beginning as soon as tomorrow but really kicking in over the weekend uh, into next week. But for now, uh, this is all pulling away. High pressure is building in, and then we are in good shape for several days with warmer temperatures on the way. In fact, here's some of that heat right now. So we're the cool kids currently, but look to the west. These temperatures are not normal for this time of the year, and those are moving our direction. And once they get here, they're not going to go anywhere anytime quickly. We have 50s in the forecast through much of next week. Today, though, a lot Lots of cloud cover, a couple of flurries out there. Cloud cover, flurries, you get the idea. But the clouds begin to break up tonight. That allow for lots of radiational cooling and give us some really cold temperatures this evening. Right now, though, it's still 36 in Rhinelander with a west breeze around 8, and the pressure is falling slightly at the airport. Over in Wausau, 40 for you, a west breeze around 7, and a dew point there of uh, 18 degrees. So again, uh, the temperatures with the dew points tonight, it's going to be very cold in the teens. Out there, currently highest temperatures, 37 in Rhinelander, 41 for Shawano. So again, this is below average. Average is upper 40s. Uh, nobody did that today. But but right now, it's still in the low to mid 30s across much of the area. There are a couple of 40s mixed in here. There are a few and far between, though. But overall, warming trend down the way. In fact, take a look at the map. Uh, yeah, here we go into November, right? 45 tomorrow. That's the cool day. And then 50s are back in the forecast for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, with plenty of sunshine over the weekend as well. And then we're going to hang out in the 50s through much of next week, too. Our forecast tonight, then, is partly cloudy skies and cold, low temperatures 
in the upper teens for most of us tonight with this southwest breeze around five for tomorrow. It's Thursday already. Lots and lots of sunshine tomorrow. We earned it finally with high temperatures back near 45 and a southwest breeze around five. And then looking ahead here, seven day forecast by Northwest Furniture and Mattress shows tomorrow looking pretty good, but even better Friday. Some clouds through the afternoon. Look at the weekend 50s, even upper 50s for the time change Sunday under partly cloudy skies. Justin looks great. Thanks, Jeff. The state DNR is expanding the hours the CW Kwood shooting range in Woodruff from now through April 24th. The DNR has a handy guide on how those hours will shift throughout the year on their website, but it's essentially open from dawn to dusk right now. You can find more information about them and other ranges and this falls hunting regulations all on the DNR's hunting website. Artstart Rylander has an outdoor gathering space behind their building, which they've been developing for a few years now. Heading into 2022, organizers say they plan to jazz up the space, make it a little more inviting for people to enjoy as a, an art park. A recent award from the Green Bay Packers puts that project one step closer to completion. We received some funding, $3,000 from the Green Bay Packer Foundation to help us construct an art park out behind our building and this is a project we've been working on for at least three years <laughs> it's been in development the outdoor space has hosted events in the past it's brought people together in downtown rhinelander we really want to just contribute to making downtown a destination and a really amazing awesome place for people to spend time and visit and hang out Art Star and Nicolay College are working together along with local artists to bring this art park to life as soon as next summer. We'll tell you more about it coming up on Newswatch 12 at 6. All right, time now to hear what Newswatch 12 viewers are saying this week on tonight's edition of Your Two Sets. I just listened to about three people uh, ask about the Notre Dame game. Well, this is Wisconsin. This is bad for country. And if they want to see the Notre, Notre Dame game in their entirety, go back to the state wherever they're from. And uh, no, we'll afford to be much better than watching Notre Dame football. Thank you very much. Bye. Question. In these numbers we've gotten up until now for COVID, deaths, people sick, people in hospital, but were they including the children or not? Because at one time they made it sound like children were immune and not getting it. Now, of course, we've got the figures that yeah, they are getting it, and they do need to get vaccinated just like adults. So as a vaccinated adult and a grandmother, I want my grandchildren taken care of. Thanks for calling. If you want to make your voice heard on your two cents, you can give us a call at 715-365-8812, extension 319. Again, 715-365-8812, extension 319. And remember, I respond or answer some of the calls on Fridays on my two cents. Right, what's being considered the oldest shipwreck in North American history was discovered recently here in Wisconsin. We'll take a closer look at that discovery, including how it kind of rewrites history after the break. Update your home's exterior and protect your home with Atlas Roofing from Menards. Castleberg shingles add value to your home and are available in seven colors with a limited lifetime warranty. Save 11% on Castleberg shingles. Update your garage with a new Chamberlain garage door opener. They offer innovative high-tech features and security to make it easy for home and garage access. Get 11% off Chamberlain garage door openers at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Everyone sleeps at Tomahawk Furniture and Gun with prices so low you'll have to bend over to see them. Prices that make your eyes pop out. Want to sleep watching TV? Check out our recliners. You want to pass up face first in a sofa? Check out our sofas. And beds, we've got beds. Check us out, prices so low you'll think we're crazy. Because everyone sleeps at Tomahawk Furniture and Gun. to get holiday ready with Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks, or with Ford Explorer, America's all-time best-selling SUV, and come home in a Ford Bronco Sport. That's how you get holiday ready. Get a Ford F-150 with zero for 60 and 500 retail bonus cash, plus complimentary maintenance when you sign up for Ford Pass Rewards. See your Ford dealer today. 
Why choose People State Bank? It's just really refreshing to know we've got a hometown bank that is really in our corner and, and willing to walk with us whatever we have to walk through. People State Bank, you are one of our most cherished supporters in this endeavor. Without your support, we couldn't be who we are. Make people's your choice. Stop by a location today or visit us online at bankpeoples.com. Each year when the greenhouse thins out and the snow falls, Fourth Floral in Rhinelander moves in some tables and invites people from the community to just enjoy some warmth. They posted on their Facebook page today announcing that space is now back open. They encourage folks to bring in a coffee or some lunch or a nice book to read and just enjoy in the warm, refreshing atmosphere they have to offer. You don't have to buy anything if you don't want to. The space is open whenever the store is open. It closes back up in the spring when they get more plants and flowers, which takes up more space. A big start to Native American Heritage Month with the discovery of North America's oldest shipwreck on record. It was found right here in Wisconsin. Michelle Beck tells us about the 1,200-year-old fishing canoe just pulled to the surface. Spring Harbor Beach harbors Anticipation Tuesday. <laughs> yes, that is extremely cool. As neighbors and history buffs await the safe arrival of an ancient boat. We're able to see a relic being brought up out of the water that most people aren't going to have a chance to even, first of all, know about or even see. The Wisconsin Historical Society sent a team of divers 30 feet deep into Lake Mendota. Their mission, to preserve a fishing canoe dating back to the year 850. We have no canoes of this age that are this intact, and this is the first one that's been found with artifacts still inside. So it's absolutely unprecedented for us. Archaeologist Amy Rosebro says the discovery came earlier this year when the Historical Society was testing scuba equipment. You know, like, wait a minute, these are net weights and they're in a canoe. This is fantastic. Months later and nearly five hours into Tuesday's excavation, the canoe reached the shore. Historians already believe the canoe belonged to ancestors of the Ho-Chunk Nation. If it's going to protect and preserve history and culture of us, humankind or mankind in this area, uh, we're totally all in support of that. The work now turns to answering the canoe's biggest mysteries. Was it abandoned or was this lost by accident? Hopefully we can go back and learn from what happened at the time that that canoe made its way to the bottom of the lake to be able to be better citizens in the future. The archaeologist said the canoe will move from the beach to a conservation facility, and that is where the Historical Society will work to save the artifact from degrading. The agency thinks this process will take about two years, and down the road it hopes to display the canoe in a brand new museum. Maybe your bath is outdated or your shower is not as safe as you want it to be. And maybe you'd like to ask some questions from an installer. Well, today we're joined by Corey Gottlieb, a certified installer with Jacuzzi. He's also my son. Corey, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Dad. This question is from Jesse. Corey, you've done a lot of showers in your life. How many shower remodeling projects have you done? Uh, it's been about six years I've been doing the showers, a couple hundred a year, about 1,200 showers. So over that time, you've seen a lot, a lot of shower and baths in people's homes. What are some of the most common reasons you see people updating their shower? The biggest goal is to make it a safe shower for, for our moms and dads and grandparents. You know, they struggle to step over the tub, so we like to make it as safe as possible for them. So you'll take out that bathtub and you'll do what? And put in a brand new, easy step in, low profile shower. Yeah, and what's really also nice is we can put grab uh, bars wherever we need to, but I also really like the grab shelf by Jacuzzi because it's a functional grab shelf. It looks beautiful. People can put their soap on there, their loofahs on there, and, and it's also something they can hang on to. Absolutely, we can place grab bars wherever they need them. So seats are also a popular option for people, and, and why don't you talk about some of the seat options you've installed? We offer a number of seats, uh, fold down teak seats or, or corner seats or uh, bench seats. Um, and we'll set that at the height of, of their comfort as well. So you'll actually take the customer into their shower, you'll put the seat at the height that's perfect for them, and then you'll pair it with some really well-placed grab bars. People like that, don't they? Yep, absolutely, and it's very important. This is one of my favorite questions. Dana's asking, 
What are some of the oddest things you found behind a shower wall? We find a lot of old beer cans, and I actually started a little collection going on. It's pretty neat to find some of those old, old time capsules, you might call them. So you have a collection of the, the old beer cans you find behind showers. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Thanks for joining us, Corey. Jacuzzi has some really exciting offers. Take a look. Fall in love with your brand new jacuzzi shower or bath by Tundraland. For a limited time, get half off installation and one free luxurious functional grab shelf. Call 1 800 Tundraland or visit Tundraland.com today. 2022 is right around the corner. WJJQ's Home Show returns April 9th and 10th. 2022 at the Tomahawk School Complex. Businesses, it's not too early to sign up. Visit the Home Show page at WJJQ.com. You deserve better. Do you want to spend more time at home? Drive well-maintained trucks? Get paid more for the great work you do? Breakbush Transportation is looking for experienced professional drivers with excellent driving records to join our team. Women and minorities encouraged to apply. Well, it's time of year people start getting their ugly holiday sweaters out of mothball, mm -hmm. so to speak. And one popular winter beverage company is now busting out their own creation. Swiss Miss, you know them, they make hot cocoa, announced they're releasing their own line of ugly sweaters. Adding they have a built-in zippered pocket, which you can oh, see. Oh, I love this. Where you can essentially carry hot cocoa. It's like a fanny or, pack. Or whatever. It is like a built-in fanny pack. Uh, they are available through the end of the year for $45 each, the sweater. Uh, the hot cocoa itself is, is sold. So separately. a hot cocoa thermos, like near your belly there? That you could, that would, I didn't think about that. Good idea. All right, so we're going to need that tonight because cold temperatures right. are out there. But first, uh, so a week from today, next Wednesday, right, uh -huh. the sun's going to set at 4.30-ish oh. tomorrow, uh, next oh. Wednesday, as our time change, oh, of course, early. is on Sunday. Uh, here we go. Uh, today, yeah, it's, it's cold, right? I mean, you feel it. It's cloudy. It's a bit breezy at times. We had highs today basically in the 30s. We're going to work on that, though as we do have a lot of heat on the way for November standards, yeah, right? Yeah. So tomorrow we're up in the 40s, 50s. and look what happens. We're firmly in the 50s. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. A couple of us could go for 60 this weekend. Those are nice days. Yes, it All is. Right. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you for joining us on Newswatch 12 at 5. NBC Nightly News is next. We'll see you back here at 6 with more.